Men, it's simple to point your finger and blame others for your problems. As the old saying goes, and I'm not breaking any news here, when I tell you that if you point the finger, you have three more fingers pointing back at you. A man going his own way is not just committing the revolutionary act of walking away from the plantation. He is also staying away from the plantation by practicing self-directed warfare and ownership. I'll add a few more. There's self-reliance, self-empowerment, and self-respect. And they all start with accountability. The habit of assigning blame to others for your own actions, whether it's politicians or even the weather, 5G towers or something. It is, in my opinion, fake and disgusting. If you were playing the blame game, you were only hurting yourself. Maybe you have a fear of looking at your own behavior and are afraid of outside judgment or failures. You look anywhere but at yourself when things don't go well. We're not snowflakes, man. The kid who cries hardest isn't always the one with the biggest boo-boo. See, somebody's gotta be the adult in the room, gentlemen. Try this meditation when you find yourself in a blaming mode. So, you knew what I was about to say, didn't you? Well, I'm gonna say it anyway. Here's your prep. Recall a recent time where you blamed others for your difficulties. Let's start with one. Get into a time, time and space, for you to meditate. Still important, all right? Always an important first step. Meditate by watching your breath for about five minutes. Two. Think of the situation or the project where things went wrong um, at work. Not because of something you did, but because of someone else's actions. For example, you may have listed some jobs for your colleagues to do, and one of those jobs were left out, and when your manager got livid that they weren't done, you in turn blamed your colleagues. What happened there? So think of that situation, or something like this. Three. Now take the viewpoint that you were accountable for the task list not being written and delivered on time. Now does this give you an air of, of uh, self-reliance, self-respect, ownership? When you know that you're fully accountable, you can learn from your mistakes. Perhaps next time, you will get the job done early and done right early and check to see that it was sent a day ahead. Four, think of a similar situation in which you blame someone else for your failure. Reconsider that situation and this time take full responsibility. What did you learn? How are you empowered by just being accountable? I'll give you a quick aside here. Uh, not too long ago here on the job, it was uh, during the 4th of July weekend, and uh, I was tasked with minding the store for the days. Both days, um, on the holiday, the 4th of July, on Saturday, and the day after. Now, the task list had many tasks on it, but it left an important one out of it. And then when I came back the following Sunday, and um, when one of the managers came back, this person was livid as hell. And so her badge started getting too big. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I mean, 
the t- her title got too big. They wanted to jump on me for something that I didn't do. Now, at the time she was doing this, at the time she was playing this blame game, I acted as though I was, I really did it. You know, I, and I really did this thing. And I took ownership. And um, I asked questions on how to do the task also. But as it turned out, and it zang, it just dawned on me, man. I looked at the task list again, and that very task that the manager was livid about wasn't even listed. And get this, that manager didn't even write that task down. So, in, in this situation, how was I supposed to know whether or not that task was supposed to be done over the weekend when it wasn't even written down. Right? And when I called, you know, the head poncho, the owner, um, that person had owned up to it as well. And as it turns out, that person had written that list. Not the one that was livid at me and was jumping at me over it, but the person that was over us all and didn't write that list. Well, a little something for you to think about. Well, men, I have the most utmost, the utmost respect. Use this meditation to encourage honesty and to, it's a hazardous thing, man. And yet, as always, we are all one big brother all belong to one father. You tread on one, you hurt another. And that, to me, is brotherhood. Peace, gentlemen.